Let's take a look at the weld tools in Modeler. I'm just going to go to full screen here and zoom in to these two pieces of geometry that aren't connected. And if I were to hit M for merge points, uh, there are no points on top of points, so no points will be eliminated. If I hit M for merge points, I could set a, a, a distance, I could set a fixed range to work in, but we also have the weld tool. And if I go over to the detail tab, the way the weld tool works is if I select this point right here and then select this point, I can weld the first point to the second point. So it kind of works like merge, except uh, it doesn't, the points don't have to be right on top of each other. You don't have to set any kind of fixed range. All you do is select some points. So I'm gonna select these three points. And the last point that I select is what they're all going to be merged to. So I'm going to weld those points and those four points become one. Okay. So if I ever needed to patch something up, I can always weld here. Now this point moved over to here. If I select this point first and then this point, control W and I'm welding the exact opposite way. Okay. So I'm going to select this point and this point and go over to detail, weld, or I like using the shortcut key of control W, weld that point. Then I'm going to select this point, this point, and this point. Well, and let's go ahead and select this point. This will be the last point selected. So they're all going to weld to that. And I can weld over to there. Now that's using the weld tool. I can also use the weld average. So if I select this point and this point, it doesn't matter which uh, point I select in order because if I use weld average found under detail points weld average it's going to find the middle point between the two points so it's going to find the average it's going to find the, the uh, it's going to look at both points and go what's the halfway point so that I can I can merge to that and so if you wanted to seam this up that might be the way to go we'll just weld average weld average Okay. Now, sometimes you have points that are welded and you don't want that you, you have them connected and you don't want them connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unweld this point right here. So right now, if we look down in selection, we've got one point selected. I'm going to come over to detail, unweld. And now it says we've got four points selected. Okay. Now they're right on top of each other. If I were to hit M for merge and use automatic, it's going to merge all those back into one. I'm going to select that again and unweld. If you want to gain access to this, I'm going to go to the, the top view. Okay. If you want to, you have four points, so how do you get those off of each other? Well, one uh, trick for doing that is to select the polygons that those um, points are connected to, and you can select however many you want. Say I want to break this one free from all the, the connections. If I go to control T, which is drag or modify, translate, drag, the only point that I can move will be on the selected geometry. Okay, so I, I can't actually move the point here. I'm trying, but I can't. It has to be selected. So if I want to break this free, I can then hit M for merge. And now this is one uh, one point again, but this one's been broken free and I can I can uh, move it wherever I want or I can weld these points together. So again, if I want to, I can select this point, go over to detail, unweld. Now I've got four points. I'm going to select both of these polygons, control T for drag, move that away. Okay. Select these two points, move these up, and then I can hit M for merge. And now that's one point, and that's one point, but I was able to separate these. So that's a good use for unweld. You can also use unweld while you're creating UV maps. Sometimes you want to break geometry away temporarily, and you can unweld the points. Okay, so once again, we'll just take a, another quick look. If I want to weld points, like I want to weld this back to this, the last point selected is where um, the other points are going to uh, be welded to, or are going to move to. So I'm just going to go over to detail, weld, two points welded, and it snaps to that point. If I select both points and I don't care about what order I'm putting in, I can use weld average, and it's going to weld them and move them to the middle point between the two points. So that's just a quick look at 
um, the three weld tools. We've got weld, unweld, and weld average, and they're all found under the detail tab under the points subgroup.